Buffalo. It's an Indian head buffalo. Nickel. Made in 1937. It's in, it's in 65 plus condition, which 70 is perfect. Wow. So we know it's a really good condition point. Really good mint luster and so forth. The CAC is a, is a, a separate certification that means it's like the top 10% of IPO and just beautiful beauty in, in its class. Okay. Now what makes it a three-legged buffalo is if you look yeah, real closely, you see that front four leg is missing? Yeah, I see it. It's sort of not there. It's just not there. And that's not a, that's an imperfection, that's, that's part of the mint. That's an error. That's an a error. mint error. Oh, okay. And so that's what makes it bad because they didn't have very many of those errors. They caught it right away, so there wasn't very many in circulation. In fact, this coin right here is a $44,000 coin. Holy, I can't even imagine. That's a house. I mean, that's yeah. a down payment on a house. So you know when people started collecting coins? It actually started prior to money. Um, they did it with, with sheet pelts and shells. Um, there was actually, like, it was shells. So they would trade shells, they would trade, trade animal pelts, and it was looked at as a form of numismatics uh, because they were collectible. And then it just moved into currency. And it's just like our money today. I mean, we can hold on to it and have no clue if it's going to be worth money. But my guess is that some of it will be because it's like this old stuff. Nobody thought, hang on to this, save it forever, and it just slowly it does become. We change our currency so much that eventually the older stuff will. So people have been collecting money since the beginning of money. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> When we deal with a lot of our customers, they started out as just general metal investors. So they would buy silver, they would buy gold, um, and that's where they were comfortable. Um, until you start really, you know, taking in all the knowledge there is to know about the collectibles, it, it kind of you kind of stand on an opposite side of the fence, so to speak. And then there's the investors who come in that will walk right past a whole tray of gold uh, to come look at a, a dollar that may be worth as much as a, a bar of gold. You know, so. It is a big difference um, because a lot of the, the collector side, um, they're not after the prettiest. They're after the rarest. It may be the ugliest coin in the store, but it may be the rarest coin in the store. I mean, we tell people once you get some gold, move over to coins because coins don't fluctuate with the market. So they've done nothing but go up. The last 10 years, they've gone up huge. So you get some gold, and then you get some coins to protect the value you have in the gold. It's all layers of protection. Cash, gold protects your cash. Coins and collectibles protect your so, why have coins gone up in value in the last 10 years? They don't make them anymore. They don't make these specific coins. So you have like Morgan dollars, and let's say they were minted in Carson City, which those are really rare. Really uh, the longer it goes on, the lower the survival rates are, the more rare they become. You can only, there's some that they only minted 100,000 and did them, and a bunch of them are gone. They melted them, uh, whatever the case may have been, but they didn't really rare. There's some that are, you know, $200,000 for a silver dollar, and there's not even an ounce of silver, 0.77 of an ounce of silver in it. So the metal value is thirteen dollars, but the value of the actual coin is two hundred thousand dollars. And it definitely has to do with rarities, with the, the difference in, in value. Absolutely. Yeah, in, in those there's you know three or four notes to be left. So it's, wow. Yeah, it's huge. Hey everybody, and thanks for joining us for our latest video where we bring you the best of the old, the new, the odd, and the wonderful. So if you're interested in this video or our channel, go ahead and subscribe below. Also, if you need an appraisal done or if you have items that you need restored, you can go to our website because we also offer service, and that is at kirstensantiques.com. That's K-A-Antiques.com. You can also follow us on all of our social media platforms for the newest and the latest and the greatest on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We also do contests where you can win really cool stuff like this. <laughs> Sign <Science> balls, <laughs> shot glasses, or even a t-shirt. So go ahead, follow us today, get with it, and we're going to be bringing you new content every day. Thanks.